Once, you needed to be a real muscle man to remove a bearing from a shaft. But now you can let oil do the hard work for you in a fraction of the time. This is how simple removing the same bearing is using the SKF oil injection method. Just pump in oil under high pressure and the bearing can be dismounted. That's the power of oil. Here's an inside look at what happens. The oil forces its way between the bearing and the shaft, thus separating the two surfaces so the bearing is simple to slide off. The same technique can be used for a number of different applications, such as couplings, gear pinions, and ship's propellers, or for dismounting railway wheels, as you'll see here. The oil is injected through an oil duct in the hub. It forms a thin film between the hub and the axle, which breaks the interference fit. This job used to require press forces of 200 tons. With our method, however, a force of 25 tons is sufficient. There's a better way to connect two shafts without using nuts and bolts, keyways, flange couplings, or a muff coupling like this. It's called the SKF OK coupling, which is an ingenious way of connecting two shafts without using nuts, bolts, flanges, or keyways. It's a cylinder made up of two tapered sleeves. And this is how it works. First, oil is injected between the two sleeves. Then oil is pumped into a hydraulic chamber where it drives the outer sleeve onto the taper of the inner sleeve. The oil is then drained away, leaving a powerful fit inside the coupling. Oil injection is also used to loosen the coupling. Fitting a bearing used to be not only hard work, but hot work. And if you wanted to remove it, sometimes you had to hammer it off, and that could damage the shaft. But now the power of oil allows you to mount and dismount a bearing easily. The bearing is put on, followed by a hydraulic nut. Then you connect the oil pump. Let's see what happens when the oil is injected. The oil pressure inside the hydraulic nut pushes out a piston which in turn drives the bearing onto the sleeve. Now let's look at how it works once more. The internal clearance of the bearing is now the normal recommended value. And checking this is a simple matter. To dismount the bearing, you simply reverse the hydraulic nut. Then you add a stop ring and inject the oil. This is what happens. And now you can easily remove the bearing. Conventional bolts for flange couplings are not that easy to remove. This is the standard technique for removing a troublesome nut. Once you've removed the nut, it's still hard work to remove the bolt. But there's a way of avoiding all this. Use SKF Super Grip Bolts. First, a smooth-fitting expansion sleeve is put into the bolt hole. The inside of the sleeve is tapered. Then the Super Grip bolt is inserted into the sleeve. The taper of the bolt matches the taper of the sleeve. You attach a hydraulic jack. Connect the pump and oil is forced in. The hydraulic pressure pulls the bolt into the sleeve, which expands and presses outwards against the bolt hole, giving a firm grip. Then the process is repeated with the nuts in place.
In this case, oil pressure is used to pre-stress the bolt. And it's then a simple job to tighten the nut. To dismount the bolt, you simply use the oil injection method again. SKF supplies all you need for the oil injection method. Hydraulic pumps, injectors of various kinds, as well as hydraulic oils for mounting and dismounting.